up above it. This one isn't too bad. passages going in and out of the head on the deck surface. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a drill bit and we're going to drill all them holes and we're going to make sure that uh, all of them are able to clear and pump water in and out. Then we're going to roll over and we're going to hit the oil returns and oil passages on the head and one of the other things I do is I just take a few minutes with my grinder and go around the outside of the head um, getting all the, the spots that need to be deburred and, and blended so when you take your hands and you're putting them on there you don't get your hands cut and all that stuff. I, I hate there ain't nothing worse than that. Alright, hey, while I got the finger on, once again I always do as much as I can with a burr, let's open up the oil passages on the top.
Okay. Now I'm going to hit all of these, which will be um, the one you just seen me do. I'll do this one, and then I'll turn it around and show you. Well, I have to switch to the egg to do the oil return hole in here and pull that out. But I'm going to go ahead and hit them real quick and get the oil passages done, and then we'll go back. But here you can see a comparison. Here's one I haven't opened up. Now look at this one here. There's one I have. And to do it right, you have to flip the head upside down. You go in from this side and then turn it around and hit the other. And then I should be able to get my finger burr all the way through it. Just that kind of little stuff right there. Getting it where it'll return good means everything in the world. All right, let's go ahead and finish the oil returns up. And then we'll go to the outside deburring of the head and the egg. This is where I've turned the head over. And now I'm going to come in here and hit it from this side. because it was a chunk to take out was go with a flame and all I'm doing with this flame is taking the bulk out then I'll go back there and touch it with an egg. I think this will make my time pass quicker. I go all the way in with this. I start in. Notice I'm going down. This appears to have a big ledge on it, and we just want this transition to be as smooth as it can be. the bulk I'll just touch it with an egg but like I said it's these little things like this and then water ports and all that that just temperatures everything zero decking a block and doing this can just about guarantee you that it might be 95 degrees or 100 degrees out with the sun shining and as long as you got a good radiator and these kind of mods done that engine will sit there at 180 degrees all afternoon long with a 180 degree stat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish pulling in the outer water ports and then with this big burr, we're gonna also go in there and work on the main return oil passages of the head. We're just gonna radius it and smooth that area out a little bit and then we're gonna go on to deburr the outside of the head. All right, now, as you can see, I've got the bulk material out of them and I did it rather nicely if I gotta say so myself where it lined up evenly with the trench. So now, and I even went in on the sides and lower and pulled it in. So now we're going to have a good smooth transition when the water makes its turn and goes around through the head. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I deburr the outside of the cylinder head for all the head jobs that I do 
and iron or aluminum to try to blend it in and make it where when people grab hold of the head they're not scratching or hurting themselves and like I said this is pre-port work uh, prep work that I do on all of the stuff to you know just make it work better tension to detail